Welcome to Pachera Talks. My name is Arun and I'm Solutions Architect, MCT. Currently working with Novintech, which is one of the best organization to work with. And today we are going to explore features, individual features of Azure Firewall that we talked about in the previous video. This is my channel and these are my views. So today it's time to explore all those individual features that we talked about in the previous video so that we can grasp the uh, concept of security related to Azure Firewall. And today it is TLS. So what is TLS? Let's start with this. TLS is uh, inspection. It's an it's an uh, also known as SSL inspection. It's transport layer security inspection. It is a process where encrypted traffic is decrypted, inspected for threats or compliance, and then re-encrypted as it moves to its destination. So for example, right now this is xyz.com somewhere, and this is our environment. This is our Azure subscription. This is our virtual network. In the virtual network, we have this VM. And this VM is trying to access XYZ.com. So what would happen? It will try to access. It will go through firewall, right? Why it will go through firewall? Because that's how we have constructed <laughs> all the routings and everything. So what will firewall do? Firewall will simply open it up decrypted and then after scanning checking it will re-encrypt it and send it to the xyz.com now this xyz.com this is again encrypted data and this firewall will use its own uh, cert create a cert to encrypt it again and send it here so it will act as an intermediary uh, cert as well because encrypted data came it will decrypt and again encrypt with its own certificate so that this will not know the information of this also okay so i hope this concept is clear now this is uh, important this is crucial because without tls inspection encrypted traffic would be a blind spot for security devices for example if it is not a premium firewall okay if it is not a premium firewall then it doesn't have the capability to decrypt and inspect the traffic and everything will go through uh, firewall unnoticed so the, the important thing is this particular feature is a feature of premium firewall azure premium firewall there are three SKUs in azure basic standard and premium and the premium is the one which gives all the advanced features so we should be aware of that the secondary thing there are two kind of traffic which is actually uh, scanned decrypt by uh, with the help of this tls feature what kind of those traffic we're talking about here if you remember, I did not do this. I tried this. So what it means, the very first is outgoing traffic. Or there is one more, which is east-west traffic. This comes in the situation where, let's suppose, we have uh, some kind of on-premises environment. OK, on prem environment and there is a VPN connectivity with Azure. And now when this VM will try to access something from here, let's suppose there is some machines running in that situation. Again, the traffic will go from here. Decrypt, scan, inspect, encrypt and send it here, right? So two kind of traffic it uh, inspect TLS outgoing traffic and east west. Now if you are wondering 
what if this is a uh, layer 7 web application which is exposed on 443 what about that scenario because somebody is going to access this from outside let's suppose this is our client laptop this will try to access this w what about that inbound well that would be taken care by application gateway this is not something that azure firewall does that would be taken care by application gateway so in ideal situations or scenarios there is application gateway and then there is a firewall and then there is different resources or we can have app gateway and firewall in parallel as well or one after another but the point is the incoming traffic for tls inspection is done by the app gateway okay <clears throat> Now let's see how Azure Firewall performs this TLS inspection in little detail so that we can understand the steps better and then we'll see uh, the settings that we need to perform on the Azure Firewall. So the very first thing, this intermediate set that I'm saying, this firewall needs to act as a trusted middle entity or a proxy between client this initiating connection to the server receiving it so what it is doing it is acting as an trusted middle entity okay to do this so how can it become trusted intermediary well to do this effectively azure firewall must be trusted by the client in your network which is typically achieved by installing a root certificate from azure firewall onto the clients so here the magic happens root certificates okay now this will gonna trust this so when a client attempts to establish TLS connection, Azure Firewall intercepts the initial handshake, decrypts the traffic using its own certificate, mimicking the intended destination's certificate and inspect the payload. After inspection, Azure Firewall re-encrypts the traffic with a new TLS session. Remember, new TLS session, this time between Firewall and the original destination server. The server, this server is unaware that the communication was inspected in transit. It doesn't even know somebody is watching. <laughs> All right, so it's simple right now. This is something which is important. I'll show you on the, on the uh, MS documentation. My subscription is still disabled. Hopefully in a day or two, it will come. So, how we can enable this? Well, uh, this TLS is not available in standard or basic, it's in premium. So make sure you're spinning up the premium Azure Firewall. Then you need to generate uh, a CA, enterprise CA, or if you're doing POC, you can also utilize the self-signed root certificate uh, to obtain for uh, from a trusted certificate authority. And then distribute and install the root certificate on all client devices that will be sending HTTPS requests through the firewall. The step is crucial to prevent security warnings about untrusted certificates. Okay. Now, what we need to do, we need to just check the box TLS inspection under the rules on Azure Firewall and it will start doing it. I'll show you on azure portal not exactly portal this is the website see this is standard and it cannot see what is going on inside the pipe but if it is a premium it can go and inspect and apply its own certificate for the uh, access to this and this is our contest.com server okay now here you see that i was talking about outbound TLS and east and west TLS inspection only. For inbound TLS uh, inspection, it is application gateway provides end-to-end -end encryption. Okay, now here is something on, on tech community. I was looking for the screenshot to show you. See, <clears throat> under this is our firewall policy under TLS inspection, what we are doing. We are enabling it. TLS inspection will be used with IDPs, applicable application rules. Now, the best 
way of accessing any certificate or access keys is key vault. So we are utilizing the key vault and enabling the managed identity so that it can access the key vault when we give the access on the key vault for this managed identity to retrieve the certificate. We utilize self sent certificate in this particular uh, tech community block. And as you can see right here under key vault certification, this is our certification uh, certificate. And here under the uh, application rules, we have TLS inspection that is checked. OK, this is what I was talking about. That's the reason we have to install on the client the the, cert uh, the certificate so that it will acknowledge this. Uh, if you go in here on 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 portal and you try to see. Uh, there is one more. OK, deploy and configure enterprise CA certificate for Azure Firewall to utilize this TLS inspection feature. What is the prerequisite? You should have an AD forest. You should have an active directory certificate, certification ser services root CA, uh, and premium tier. And of course, key vault, that's the best practice to utilize it. And you can request and export a certificate. So that's how it usually goes. I'll share these links in the in the description box so that you can go through it. Uh, OK. Now let's see what are the benefits of uh, this TLS. TLS inspection. The very first benefit is it enhanced the security. How? By inspecting the contents of the encrypted traffic. Azure Firewall can identify and block threats like malware, ransomware, and phishing attacks that could otherwise bypass traditional detection methods. And many industries have regulations that require the inspection of data to ensure it doesn't contain sensitive or regulated information. So TLS helps, TLS inspection helps organization comply with these compliances or regulatory requirement. Then finally, TLS inspection provides deep visibility into encrypted traffic, allowing for detailed logging, auditing, and reporting. So we have the visibility. All right, so these are some benefits. Uh, now let's see uh, the, the best practice, because we should be aware of the best practice for our TLS inspection feature to utilize. The very first thing is ensure the root certificate used by Azure Firewall for TLS inspection is securely distributed and trusted by all client devices. So the warning that I showed you is one of the, that, that reason. So we have that kind of certificate that is all, already been trusted between client and the Azure Firewall. Then uh, not all encrypted traffic may need to be inspected. Why? Because it takes time. <laughs> because sensitive, destinations such as banking size or health information might be excluded to protect privacy. That is one of the reason, right? So selective inspection, oh, I forgot to write it down. Selective inspection is something that you should utilize as a best practice. Only inspect that traffic which is absolutely needed. Uh, because we do not want uh, the sensitive destinations such as banking or health information site uh, to go through this. So performance consideration, you need to think about uh, performance because TLS inspection is resource intensive. So you need to monitor the performance impact on the firewall and scale resources accordingly to maintain the optimal throughput. So performance considerations. OK. Then <clears throat> be mindful of legal and privacy implications when decrypting and inspecting traffic. Ensure that you use TLS inspection complies with applicable laws and regulations. So uh, we can say compliance and privacy. We need to think before we apply those settings. So these are some best practices. Now let's uh, end this with a simple example. And let's consider a scenario 
I think I'm repeating this example, but I couldn't think of uh, any more. So let's consider a scenario where an employee attempts to download a file from a seemingly reputable website while connected to the corporate network. Unknown to the employee, the file is infected with malware. With TLS inspection enabled on Azure Firewall, the encrypted traffic between the employees computer and the website is decrypted by the firewall. The firewall inspects the content, identifies the malware, blocks the file download, and alerts the security team. Without TLS inspection, the encrypted download would proceed unchecked, potentially compromising the network. So, in conclusion, TLS inspection on Azure Firewall offers a powerful means to enhance network security by providing visibility into encrypted traffic. However, it requires careful management of certificates, respect of privacy, and adherence to legal standards to implement effectively. Well, yeah, that's all about it. Uh, we just wanted to explore these features, individual features that we talked about in our previous videos so that we know a little deeper than usual. All these features, where, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, yeah, that's fine. So all those features that we talked about in our uh, previous video, TLS, IDPs, web categories, the one which are most important and requires additional efforts to configure, we are going to explore those one by one. It wouldn't take much time, but thank you for watching. I hope it was informative and you guys enjoyed. Take care, bye-bye.